Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know, this is not a, a review of a show. This is more like a talk on the Super Bowl. I want to talk about this Super Bowl that we just experienced. You know, Super Bowl 58, I could be wrong. Yeah, 58. So, this, notice I'm wearing my GOAT jersey, uh, Tom Brady. The GOATs of all GOATs, Tom Brady. Seven Super Bowls, you know. There's this thing going on with this Super Bowl 58 thing. And I'm going to tell you this. This was fucking scripted. You can't make a script like this. This is so scripted, it's not even funny. It was so scripted to a point where I'm like, this is Super Bowl was going to be unanimous. It wasn't even a contest. It wasn't even a joke. I knew this was going to happen. The Swifties were going to win the Super Bowl. The Swifties was going to win the Super Bowl. And I knew it right off the gate this was going to happen. Look. <clears throat> the, nothing but respect. I respect Patrick Mahomes. I respect him. Good quarterback. I have not. I am not challenging his greatness. I don't even care about that. I'm talking about how this whole thing got planned out for this Kansas City Chiefs to win the Super Bowl. This Super Bowl was so scripted that that they gave it to them. They fucking gave it to them out of nowhere. I mean, literally, the 49ers, San Francisco 49ers, had the ball. They, they were running. They had it. They got it. They got it. And then what? Then what? Here come Patrick Mahomes with the ball. And every time I see Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes with the football, I'm like, yeah, it's over. It's over. It's fucking over. Like, I didn't even have to, like, <laughs> you you can't make this stuff up. And then when it went into overtime. What? Actually, let me go back a bit. So, what happened was, I got, um, I was at work. The game started at 6.30. I was at work. I got home to a point where I got to see the second quarter. Okay. Slowly watching the game. There were some incomplete passes on both sides. There were times when um, mistakes happen, you know, Brock Birdie did a good job in his second year. I can't argue with that. Then um, all of a sudden, <laughs> that special team kick, once that happened, the ball hit the back of the guy's leg and they got the ball. And once they got the ball back, I'm like, y'all fucked up. Y'all fucked up. You guys fucked up. And I'm like, yeah, it's over. Yeah. Yeah. You had one job. You fucked up that job. And then all of a sudden, once Patrick Mahomes got the ball, it was like, yeah, it's over. They're going to score a touchdown. That's what they did. So then I'm like, oh, my God, we're doing this again. All into a field goal. We tied up overtime, okay? Now, let me go back again. Halftime show numbers. Back, you know, I don't really like Usher like that. I don't like Usher, you know. Uh, you know, some of, the, some of the people I don't even like. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I don't like music like that, especially them. But that's here and there. Anyway, back to what I was saying. They go to overtime, and the fucking rules came in effect. Now, the rules came in effect two years ago, so the organization didn't even know about it. San Francisco organization should have known about the rules. I'm like, damn. Because if you go back, if you go back all throughout the years, we have seen overtime games where just like you kick the field goal, you win. You score the first, you score the touchdown, you win. That's what's supposed to be. Like, that's like, and I'm, I'm putting my GOAT, for example. When Tom Brady went to the Super Bowl against the Rams, and then that field goal kick happened, what happened? The Patriots won the Super Bowl. So they're going to, it's like, wow. So you tell me, if that would have happened or not, we could have. So how about this? You want to you talk about changing the rules? How about, how about we make the Super Bowl two out of three falls so that my Patriots, my New England Patriots, can go back and whoop the Giants' ass who stole two of our rings from us. And yes, I'm a New Yorker, by the way. I'm just saying, like, Go, let's go. Let's have a two out of three falls match, and let's see if the Patriots will beat the Giants. And that would have happened. We would have got our nut. We would have got our freaking ring. But you know, the NFL is trying to make the rules simple for players to like. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's give the ball to them, and if they score a field goal, we'll give the ball back to the other team. That's fair. Now everybody's fair. The fans will be like, "Oh, that's not fair. Patrick Mahomes didn't get the ball. Oh, that's not fair. Brock Purdy didn't get the ball." They're gonna make they wanna make it fair for all of us. Because if they would have scored that field goal, 
That's it. Close the deal. Game's over. San Francisco won the Super Bowl. Now this rules has happened two years ago. It's like, okay, you score a field goal, you're good. It's not enough. Give the ball back. Now, if they don't score in their possession, game over. But if they score a field goal, they got to keep going. And if, they, and if they score a touchdown, the game's over. Okay, so San Francisco, they kicked the field goal. Okay, they thought it was game over. The coach, the players had no freaking idea that this was going to happen. They had no idea. Now, no, not only is it overtime, but they had no idea about the rules. Now, the organization, it's the organization fault. I, I get that, but come on, guys. Why do we have to go through this where it's just like, you kick the field goal, game's over. It should have been like that. Let it go. Damn it. This is why, this is why I'm arguing about these, these kind of like goats debates here. Like, you're talking about LeBron and Michael Jordan and... Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Yes, Michael Jordan is the GOAT over LeBron, period. We can debate that later. Yeah, Michael Jordan over LeBron. Now, we're looking at this, where once San Francisco got the ball back, here comes freaking Patrick Mahomes. And once Patrick Mahomes been, has been doing these miraculous plays in overtime, running the ball, sliding, and then and that last bit of drive, once he had that ball towards the first and goal, once he threw that ball to the end zone touch and touchdown, that was it. I turned off the TV. Because I knew this was gonna happen. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm gonna make a serious thing. The only reason they freaking won is because of Taylor Swift. The Swifties. I'm not calling the Kansas City Chiefs, no. The Kansas City Swifties. Look, the whole thing that was just viewing on Taylor Swift's reaction, like her, her, her reaction towards the game. That was the whole thing. Was it's not about Kansas City winning the Super Bowl. It was about Taylor Swift. Now I know what you're gonna say. Do I like Taylor Swift? I don't really care. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't care. I don't care. Like I said it before, and I'll say it again. Music not really in my touch. So I don't really care about the Taylor Swift music. I don't care about all that shit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The Swifties have won the Super Bowl. That's what it is. I remember watching with my buddies on Discord. We was watching the Super Bowl. Once Tom, once Patrick Mahomes got the ball and threw it to the end zone, I'm like, yeah, we're done. Turn it. We turn off the we 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 just turn off the live stream. Because it was so fucking obvious. They it was scripted like they gave it to him. And now that he won his third Super Bowl, no but respect. Now that he won his Super Bowl, everybody we go say, he's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. Hell fucking no. Patrick Mahomes is not the GOAT. He's a top 10 quarterback of all time. We can put him a top 10 quarterback, but I ain't going to put him in the top five freaking range. Look, if you're going to say he's the GOAT, I mean, if you're going to say he's the GOAT of this generation, this generation, I'm talking about this particular generation. Not yet. Not yet. However, you could put him in the argument among the greatest quarterbacks of all time. But you, you can't put him over Brady, not just yet. To make him into the GOAT conversation with Brady, and then we'll make an argument back and forth, kind of like how LeBron got four, Jordan got six, and how Jordan never forced a game seven, this and that. That kind of a argument back and forth. To make that happen with Mahomes to Brady, Patrick Mahomes need to get at least, I'll say probably, Two more rings. If he gets five Super Bowl rings and Brady still have seven, then then all you Patrick Mahomes fans, Kansas City fans, or anybody fans of, of football is going to talk about like, oh, Patrick Mahomes is the GOAT because of this and that. Oh, Tom Brady's the GOAT because of this and that. And then we all go back and forth on this one. First of these, and like I say it again, Tom Brady, Tom Brady, number 12, is the GOAT among the freaking GOATs. I got him. Look. I got Tom Brady over, over Jordan, over Messi, of all of all sports, of all freaking sports. I got Tom effing Brady by far. But this super this Super Bowl itself was so scripted. I legit was like, oh no, this is ridiculous. They're giving him the ball to him because of the fucking rules. And all these Swifties was just sitting and singing and happy, like, yeah, we won the third 
happened? We're back to back. Now everybody's gonna think they're gonna now now everybody's want they want uh Patrick Mahomes, they want Kansas City to get a three peat. What this ain't the Bulls. Don't be like Chicago Bulls. You ain't that you ain't that nice. No, 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 no. No. This Super Bowl was so purely on luck. Lucky scripted play. They got a power up because of Taylor Swift. This is the Swifties. The Kansas City Swifties beat the 40 whiners, 49 whiners, and then they just like, it's just too much. And, and, and you know what's funny? I find it kind of funny in this Super Bowl. I kind of find it ironic here about this. You know, this is not me. I, I kind of want to say this, but I'm afraid if I say this, you're going to, you know, you're like, you're not wrong. Or you could be getting wrong for this one. You know we're in a month of Black History Month? You see where I'm getting at? I ain't gonna go into details, but you see where I'm getting at. But overall, this Super Bowl was one million percent scripted. You can't make this stuff up. It's like the moment you give the ball to Patrick Mahomes, the moment you throw the ball to Travis Kelsey, the moment you, the moment overall, when it comes to Kansas City's Chiefs, the moment Patrick Mahomes get the ball overall and he does this miraculous place, you're going to look at this and say, yeah, it's over. And it's, it's like, it doesn't matter who's in the NFC. It doesn't matter. It could be the it could be the 49ers again, Detroit, Eagles, hell, even the Dallas Cowboys, which we all know Cowboys ain't going nowhere with their antics like, you know, we're going to shoot both this year. And that bullshit, the Cowboys. But my point is, anybody in the NFC, once they face, once they face Kansas City, they're like, yeah, it's over. And all the fans out there who watch Super Bowl and football, once you see Kansas City in the Super Bowl, you're like, yeah, it's obvious. Kansas City is going to win. Kansas City is going to win. Now, from the AFC perspective, I hope that someone, someone takes out Patrick Mahomes, like Karate Kid, Karate Kid vibe and say, sweep the leg. Like, come on, Baltimore, you had it, you fucked up. Buffalo Bills, you had it, you fucked up. And I'm going to get to that back too. Because again, the whole thing, going back to what I said about scripted, everything was fucking scripted. Especially that Kansas City Buffalo game where the Buffalo Bills had it. They fucking had it. They fucking had it. They gave the win to the Kansas City Chiefs. Once that field goal kicked in the play, it was like, yeah, they kicked, kicked the field goal straight up and then it blew to the left. And don't say the wind. Don't say the fucking wind. First of all, it's the city of Buffalo. You know how cold Buffalo is? You know how the wind mileage in Buffalo? The kickers in Buffalo, they play windy cities, windy games like this one. All the city, all, all around, they have played games where it's windy like that. And you're going to miss a field goal like that to not let Buffalo Bills make it to, uh, go, go to the next round. You let Kansas City win this. You let them win. This was so scripted. The plot armor was there for that one. And then they went to the Super Bowl to beat the 49ers. Again, the Taylor... And, and then, oh my, my bad. The Kansas City Swifters, the Swifties, the Swifties won. That's it. That's all it is. That's it. I'm not even going to argue it. And don't say he's the GOAT. There's only one GOAT, and he's the GOAT. So don't sit there and say Patrick Mahomes is the GOAT. Fuck no. Ain't going to happen. Give him five. If he gets five rings... Then we'll talk about goat, 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 goat compensation. But right now, no, no, that ain't fly. But like I said, I'm going to say it once and I'm going to say it again. Scripted doesn't come for them. And this is scripted as hell. This is scripted as hell. Now, I don't know. Let's say next year again, they go to the Super Bowl. Well, you know it's going to be scripted again. I bet you it's going to be scripted. Let's. Let's see where this goes. But I just want to do. I didn't want to. I really do. I really wanted to do this video because I've been getting tight about everybody on first take and everybody around the world saying like Patrick Mahomes the goat, which is BS because he ain't better than Tom. He ain't better than Peyton Man. He been Roethlisberger. I'm keeping that. I'm talking about the whole resume speaks for itself. But nah, we're not going that far. We ain't going that far. We ain't going that far. So that's my intake on this Super Bowl, this Super Bowl video. It was a scripted, can't make this stuff up. Plot armor was there for the Swifties. You name it, they did it. So hopefully next year will be better than this one. We'll see.